Hello students, in today's lecture, we will introduce the topic that we will cover in the next three series. This topic is the circulatory system. The circulatory system has three very important components, and it will take an entire series for each of these components. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to introduce the circulatory system, its three components, and then we'll give a brief introduction of the first component of the circulatory system, which will be the blood. So let's first identify the three components of the circulatory system. The first one is the heart. Let's represent that here. So the first component of the circulatory system is the heart. The second component of the circulatory system will be the blood vessels. So let's represent the blood vessels here. So our second component of the circulatory system will be the blood vessels. And our last component of the circulatory system will be the blood itself. Let's represent the blood next. And represented here is the blood, showing the red blood cells and the white blood cells. These three components, the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood, make up the circulatory system. Let's indicate that here. At this point, I want to clear up a misconception that some students have with the circulatory system versus the cardiovascular system. The circulatory system comprises all three of these components, the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood. However, the cardiovascular system only comprises the heart and the blood vessels. Let's indicate that here. The branch of science, or the branch of biology, that is devoted to the study of blood is known as hematology. Let's indicate that definition here. The last thing that we'll discuss in this lecture will be the three functions of the circulatory system. In the next lecture, we'll go over these three functions in more detail, but we simply want to list them here. These three functions are transport, which includes the transport of nutrients, metabolites, and other substances. The second function will be protection, protection from microbes, pathogens, and any foreign agents. And the last one is going to be regulation, primarily of tissue fluids. This will include the volume of the tissue fluid, as well as the pH of the tissue fluids. And as I mentioned, we'll discuss these in more detail in the next lecture. We simply want to list these three functions here. And so I've listed here the three functions of the circulatory system, transport, protection, and regulation. This concludes our introduction to the circulatory system, and it also concludes this lecture. Hope that you've learned a lot.